Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Time right now, 1217 on your Friday afternoon. We're inching closer to the weekend. And what do we have in store for the weather, Ben? Well, for us, the weekend begins in like 10 minutes. So. I know, but not for everyone. No, so. I know. But trying to be kind. That's true. That's <laughs> true. Uh, but we are ready here, and the weekend will have some very nice weather. Some showers to dodge, but I think most of us will be able to dodge those because they happen at night. We'll get to future casts in a bit, but we'll start you off with the camera in Plattsburgh. We're pointing towards the Plattsburgh City Beach. Did you know this is one of the best spots for inland windsurfing because the south wind on Lake Champlain can produce some pretty nice waves by the Plattsburgh City Beach, and you can see all the kites in the air, folks getting out there and enjoying what looks to be a very nice afternoon for some windsurfing. Not my cup of tea, but hey, if you want to do that, it's a perfect day for it. We've got a nice view from the Heroes Welcome General Store in North Hero. You can see the flags basically horizontal with that strong south breeze that just keeps on keeping on, at least in the Champlain Valley. It's 64 in North Hero with a wind out of the southwest about 18 miles per hour. So on the lake for the rest of the day, the south wind will continue. Wave heights three to five feet. If you haven't been on the ferry yet and you need to cross this afternoon, plan for a pretty bumpy ride. The other thing too, the lake level is starting to drop. It's now below 98 feet. So this prolonged dry pattern we're in is having an impact on making the lake levels go down. Now across the region, it's nice and mild, almost 70 in Waterbury. 66 in Burlington, we've made it to 71 in Malone, and it's 67 in North Hudson, New York. We have some mid-60s down into southern Vermont as well. And looking at Storm Tracker, there aren't even that many clouds out there. It looks hazy because we have some wildfire smoke moving overhead, but the clouds don't really thicken up until we get our next system in here, and that's this cold front and the attached low pressure you see in the upper Midwest. That will start to come in tonight, and you'll really notice the clouds thicken up for tomorrow. So for the rest of today, no big issues. We'll make it to about the low 70s. It'll be breezy all the way into the overnight. Temperatures won't fall off too much. Most of us probably stay in the 40s and 50s across the region. A spot shower possible, but most of us will be dry into Saturday morning. Here's the weekend forecast. We have afternoon showers for you Saturday. Now this is mainly mid to late afternoon towards the evening. So if you have any graduation ceremonies that happen in the morning, you'll be good to go. And Sunday looks mostly dry, just a small chance for an isolated shower by that point. So on Futurecast, you could see the spot shower chance first thing tomorrow morning. But up to about lunchtime, we're dry across Vermont, New Hampshire, even most of northern New York. This rain doesn't start coming in until about 2, 3, 4 o'clock, slowly crawling to the east. It gets to about the Champlain Valley near sunset, and then we'll have periods of rain through most of the overnight. By Sunday morning, most of it's gone. We may even mix in a little bit of sun first thing, but generally the sun will win out in the afternoon. Just a small chance for an additional shower or two by then. In terms of the rainfall amount, some of us could get a half inch, which would be welcome. We haven't had too much rain recently, but this is a tough system to forecast for. I wouldn't be surprised if most towns, unfortunately, only wound up with a tenth or two. It's not the kind of system that would bring widespread rain for several hours here. But looking at the forecast going forward, most of next week is dry. It turns mild again, 70s and 80s almost every day. And that includes Memorial Day weekend with the Vermont City Marathon just 10 days away. Very exciting. Sarah Beth. All right, then. Thank you. Well, Senator Peter Welch.